Pursuant to Internal Revenue Service guidance, be advised that any federal tax advice contained in this program is not intended to be used and it cannot be used by any person or entity for the purpose of avoiding any tax penalties that may be imposed by the Internal Revenue Service or any other U.S. federal taxing authority or agency or promoting, marketing, or recommending to another party any transaction or matter addressed in this show. The opinions expressed by the host and the guests are their own and may not be used as authoritative advice. Any use of this material without the written consent of the host is strictly prohibited. Welcome back. I am your host, Attorney Stephen Leahy, and this is the IRS Radio Hour on AM 560, The The Answer. Answer. Well, Steve, this is the section where our friend, Dr. Richard Fader of Fort Wayne, Indiana, gets to ask you a question. His question to you, Steve, is, if I file Chapter 7, will the IRS take my tax return money? Well, that's a that's a good question. And this thank is, you very much. That's right, Doctor Fader. We want to thank you for your participation in this show. A doctor in what? We talked about that last week, didn't we? We didn't. Want, I think he, he, didn't, know. he didn't want to tell us. <laughs> uh, anyway, the answer is, you know, it really depends on what time of year it is, because what what happens when I owe when the I usually get a tax refund, and at the beginning of the year. I really don't have much of a refund coming back, right? Because every time I get paid, my employer takes money out of my paycheck and sends it to the IRS. And then the IRS is holding my money. Do they give you interest on no, that money? No, Jim. Ah. They, the only interest they have is they want more. But do they, <laughs> do they charge interest on the money I owe them? Oh, uh, absolutely. From uh. the day that you owe it. Until the day that you pay it back. Until okay. the day you die. Until the day you die. That's if that's what if you're lucky, that's when you'll pay them back. If you're lucky. Uh, anyway, so what happens here is remember now, chapter seven, the title of chapter seven comes right after chapter six and just before chapter eight. You said this and before, and I, I have to agree with you. That's true. But the title of chapter seven is liquidation. And so what happens under a chapter seven liquidation is the 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 uh, trustee will take any assets you have above a certain level of exemptions allowed by law. And th- so those exemptions change from state to state. Every state has a different exemption. So I'm going to talk about here in Illinois. Here in Illinois, we have state exempt laws. Some states use the federal laws, but we use state. And so here in Illinois, we're, everybody who files is entitled to what they call a, a wild card exemption. And this is an exemption that you can use for any kind of assets that, that you have. Is that gambling? What do you mean? Wild card. Is that oh, yeah. Okay. Gambling? I get it. Okay, no. Uh, but it's wild card in that you can use it for anything because there's other exemptions. Homestead, so I can use that for my house where I live. They have a car exemption. They have, you know, uh, workers' comp exemptions. Oh. So there's different types of exemptions. The wild card. So I, it's like Wheel of Fortune. That's right. You just take it out that's when right. you need it. So that's right. exactly the wild card. That's right. Uh, Joker, Joker, Joker. Oh, no, that, oh, that was that's a different, a different show. That's a different show. Uh, so here again, here in Illinois, you get everybody who files can get $4,000. If a couple file, they both get $4,000. Now, usually people will use a big portion of this to protect their furniture or some other asset in the house. But if you have money coming back from the IRS, you can use it to protect that money coming back from the IRS. But what happens is that, especially people who file, I I don't need a lawyer to help me this. And then they'll file and then right around the first of the year. And this is always the time of the year when the trustees always ask. And remember, you have to give... Part of the uh, documents that you have to provide for bankruptcy now include your tax re- returns. So you're going to show them your tax returns. That they know what you got last year oh, in your tax second. refund. Let me, let me ask you something. I don't understand. What do you mean? You get you get four thousand, and then you can use it to do. I mean, for a wild card. But uh, this is this is the this is the art of bankruptcy law, and this is why you need help if you own if you have any kind of assets. You have to get help because you can't go into this. Uh, just thinking, oh, I just filed ba- like bankruptcy. J-Lo? I just filed. <laughs> I'll just file bankruptcy, and everything will be right. And I had someone come in the other day who uh, was referred to me, and she's, oh, you know, having she was divorced, not really making any money. The one thing that she got from her divorce was a car, but the car's worth fifteen thousand dollars. So if uh, she would have run out and filed bankruptcy on her own, thinking, hey, I don't own, I don't have anything, I don't have any income, I can't pay my bills. She wouldn't. She would know that she, you're giving up that car. They're coming to take your car. And another thing, they're going to come and they're going to ask you, "Well, do you have a tax refund coming?" So even if I have a child 
the, the earned income. The earned, earned income. income tax credit. That's right. Now, there's some exemptions for it, but the earned income, and they'll ask you, well, how much money are you getting back from the IRS? And also, well, wait a minute, that's I need that money. But but you don't understand. It's part of the estate. And so well, you're going to give that money. Well, they just take one of the kids? <laughs> no, they, they want the money, Jim. So so you, you're going to give up. Them. So again, you're going to give up your tax refund. Now, the, the the part about bankruptcy is that you are you have the power to file bankruptcy whenever you want. Now, sometimes people are forced into it and they have to and, and they have to file because their their wages are being garnished, for instance, or something else is happening. And they ha- they need the protection from the court, but most people can can wait a month or two months. Usually, I tell people you want to wait till you really have to file. I always liken it to a nuclear button. So you want to you want everything to be on you, and then you hit the button. You don't don't do it too much in advance because it can really hurt you in the long run. So you want to time it correctly. And the courts say say you you're the master of the timing. So if you wanted to wait, for instance, file your tax return, get your refund back, use it to pay bills that you have, that you have to pay, and then file bankruptcy, maybe that makes sense. And that's why you have to get somebody who's going to help you But you got a strategy. Them, if you owe the IRS, you, you're not getting the return. Well, that's true. If you owe the IRS money, the IRS is going to keep the, the refund. You're not going to get the refund, even if you file bankruptcy, because they have that money and they're not going to give it back, back to you. Even if those... Even if those de- those tax um, debts are dischargeable in bankruptcy, because they're already holding it, they're not going to give it back no. to you. So, but but again, it's all about planning. It's all about strategy and and meeting with someone who understands what the law is and can use these exemptions to your best advantage. You need help. Don't do this on your own. Bankruptcy is way too important and and too dead. Uh, I should say deadly, but it could be hurt, very hurtful if you do it wrong. And you can lose the, what little you have. You can lose it to a good trustee. So if you're having problems with any finances, IRS, credit card, then you should give us a call and give Open Tax Resolution and the Law Office of Stephen A. Leahy a call. 312-664-6649. Visit us on the web at chicagotaxting.com. Be right back.